Okay, I uh, had told you I would maybe make a little recording of uh, me working on some of this so you kind of see what it was like. <coughs> uh, here's a city area right here. So you may not have seen or seen, but not really well. Here's a little construction area I made with all the stuff going on. Just uh, something unusual. Add a little detail. Train station back here, or well, tram station, I guess. Um, that's actually the edge of the map here, which I try to hide with thick buildings and whatnot. Um, the main main train station is over here, which sometimes it's slow to load stuff. That's the main main train station with the parking garages and cars and the whatnot and fences <laughs> I added the fence um, the people were part of this building here which uh, you know I can show you kinda like this select the move so you can grab it move it around which totally changes everything and then just click undo boop right back where it was that's the track right there um... this is the industrial section i was working on and all of that Yep. more industrial section the junkyard area I was kind of proud of. Yeah, all these cars I had to uh, kind of, I say place individually, basically I made a line and then cut and pasted it like, um, say this area right through here. <clears throat> I can go to the tools and where's that at? Copy, uh, don't paste height paste that and then select an area and then go to paste mode and then go to where you want it and bam there it is or you can use this compass here to turn it bam it's turned but you can only do it in 90 degree increments so but right now what I'm working on is this uh, industrial light industrial area back here that is kinda half done I have some buildings and such that I kinda have down already but I want to put some newer buildings and stuff back in this corner and I'm gonna need some stuff uh, some objects to kinda hide the edges a little bit when I extend uh, the track back through here and way 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 out over here oh yeah here's the, uh, the Kmart you saw <laughs> Kmart, that's the Walmart, um, Grand Furniture, and uh, Home Depot. So I'm going to eventually put a road that runs through here, right next to the tracks, and then uh, parking lots and whatnot. But through here, I have several objects that you know I've gone through and found through the list because the object list, if I can show it to you, is kind of uh, arbitrary. I mean, it's just all kinds of different things and some of it has like no meaning whatsoever so I gotta check the filter and see if it's still set on nope okay good anyway so stuff I found I've kept track of like houses and uh, water towers uh, industrial stuff um, city buildings are over here uh, there's even hot air balloons <laughs> Uh, all kinds of cars and trucks and semis I found over here and so I wouldn't have to go searching for them all the time I um, just put them over here in the area I won't be using I'll be deleting all this but um, these are the interactive industries that um, the tr well, places where the trains will go and actually load and unload stuff forgot what this was uh, but that looks like a, a good little piece of what is that? 
it is it'll tell me in a second oh it's a bread factory takes in flour and puts out general goods that's kinda how that works pieces of uh, airport all kinds of ships and stuff for the you know for the ocean or water if you have any which I do or way over here which I'm gonna tie in eventually with this port that I already got set down this port is one big piece except for these cranes here which I kinda put here for looks but everything else is one big piece um, you can see the stuff I did below water level and this is where I've put texture just kinda playing with different types of textures different colors to see what looks good and what doesn't and uh, that's a cruise ship that's part of the port I mean it all moves as one piece so and then way over here I have the strip mine I made way 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 over here voila just a circular strip mine the train will run all the way down the track and eventually come down here and uh, they didn't have anything really that looked visually good as far as loading coal so I just kinda you know set up some vehicles to make it look like uh, these steam shovels were loading these heavy uh, dump trucks which would then take the coal up here and dump it in a central place where the bottom loaders would pick it up and you know dump it over here and this is kind of a multi-purpose loader here which I'm just gonna have it used for coal so ultimately the train will come all the way down and uh, split off at the split which is somewhere around there I forget where it's at anyway oh yeah the split is right there come around load up here and then once it's loaded it'll just come back around and it kinda makes a circular loop and then it'll head back up 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 all the way up the track here and right now I have it ending where am I at right. <clears throat> right now it comes into this tunnel here which uh, is right there kinda hard to show you I have to fight with the interface uh, there yeah that's the tunnel anyway tunnel goes in there and comes out over here uh, right there yep that's the tunnel and it'll eventually come out here and I'm gonna tie it in with a main line somehow which will head back into the city but that for now is that um, Oh yeah, here's the oil refinery that I made. Whoa! The oil refinery is pretty basic in and of itself. Um, I added a bunch of pieces <clears throat> and actually I could show you just by clicking on the move button if I grab the actual oil refinery itself the basic you know pieces are pretty easy. That's everything else there is what I've added. So I added quite a bit to it to make it look like a real oil refinery. And uh, and you was asking about grasses. These are all the different types of grasses that I found, and that I use grasses and bushes, uh, hedgerows. Um, some eh, some are good, some are okay. Different colors, different widths, um, even flowers and stuff. And I use them different ways. Like I use three different kinds over here in between the tracks. Um, if you can see it right here. I use three different kinds to kind of give this a layered look or just kind of a, you know, more vegetation. You can probably hear uh, Fisher in the background. He always goes to sleep uh, pretty well, but he picks the time I'm doing this to get incredibly vocal. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of things here, a couple of industries that are gigantic buildings that I used uh, to fill in the industrial area that I will eventually tie into everything else but like I said for now I'm gonna work on that one area industrial area which I laid out a bunch of industrial light industrial buildings of all different shapes and sizes so what I'm gonna do is 
try to approach this in some sort of fashion. Um, try and move as much as this. Uh, try and move as much of this as possible into a little tighter grid area so it doesn't take up so much room so I can cut and paste um, this whole area and then move the buildings over there and then rearrange them once I get them over there so I won't have to do it uh, come back and get a piece and go back and it just saves a lot of time so let me do some of that and then I'll pick up where I left off. Okay, now that I've gotten it all tightened up, um, all I need to do is go back to that cut and paste tool. Bam. Select the area, which out here is probably good. Should pick it all up. Go back to where I got it all. And which I should have it all. Hit the paste button. Bam. Go over here. Oh, wait. Hit the north thing. And then go back to where I'm working. Which is over here. And find kind of an empty-ish space to uh, put everything, which I don't think I really have one. Um, shoot. I need to get rid of those and turn this. So what I'm going to do is go back to here. Move these out of the way. Bam. 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 Moved. Go back to my tools. Paste. Rotate it so it'll fit kind of here-ish. And then... Bam. All those buildings that I was wanting. Then I go back to the object viewer and kind of look over what I've got. Uh, this looks like a really, really large area. Um, apparently it overlapped some of it. But it looks like it got everything in here. Everything that I can see. Although I think it put some of these small buildings. Yeah, it moved some of these. Oh, because it might not have had room. So I'm going to pick this up and move it. Well, if it'll let me. Yep. Yeah. Yep, some of it didn't get moved. Bam. Because what I want to do is create a. Uh, area back here that's light industrial storage kind of whatnot a lot of storage based businesses and um, just for looks mostly just to kind of finish it off um, there's going to be tracks running to some of them and I'll use what's called a multi-industry tool for that it's a little section of track some are long some are short but what they do is uh, they can load and unload cargo and you you set it to whatever you want it to load or unload and uh, it's kind of a complex process some of them are already predetermined some of them are easier than others but for right now just using using those so what <clears throat> I mainly want to do since this is the corner is uh, kind of start setting some of this stuff to kind of mask the fact that it is a corner so or the edge of the edge of the uh, I guess map so to speak so I just kinda come over here and put a few things down like so put that there and whatnot uh, bring this over here rotate it Just so. Move it. Bam, well, we got the edge of the map. 
but you can play stuff over the edge if you want. It's pretty free when it comes to that. So, and you know, I can add little details to it later. But this is just mainly to to kind of, like I said, mask that edge of the map. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it looks good. Oh, it's a cat plant. Nice. Got a good idea for that. That would be good in an edge. But for right now, I think it's going to go... Uh, let's see. That would be perfect for somewhere over here. I have a plan for it later. <laughs> so, I'll work with that later. Um... Something like this is really good. I can put it over here and put a lot of trucks in front of it and it'll look look like it belongs. So that might take up quite a bit of space. Um, so on second thought, that'll probably go over here with the cat plant. Um, just kind of put some of these buildings over here. And... So I'm going to continue to do that just like this and I'll get back to you when I've done quite a bit and show you show you how it looks. Okay, so now if what I've got is a little corner here and again this is just to kind of mask the fact that it's the edge of the map and uh, you know it's not really integral to the entire thing. So I just set up you know three buildings make it look kind of like it's a uh, uh, like a light industrial area, like I said. <laughs> but what I'm going to do first here is uh, go and switch to the spline mode and go and get some of the roads that I'm working with. So I use the get tool, get that road with sidewalk. And if I'm going to place some roads down, it's fairly easy. Just point and click and uh, stretch it out and then click. And then you can move these spline points right here are spline points so you can move those and I'm just gonna move one to say here Move this one over here without knowing exactly where I want the roads it's kinda difficult um, so I'll just put that there and they have uh, different objects that interact with these splines so what I can do is if I want to create um, an intersection and a like a plant entrance so to speak um, what I would do is go grab something that I know I've already put down before which is these right here so I use my get tool go back to objects use my get tool to get this object right here which is called a road parking lot entrance so I've got that picked up and I'll just go place that place a couple of those here probably uh, well, one over here and I'm also going to need an intersection I know for a fact so I'll go get the intersection that I need road intersection with sidewalk I've been working with roads a lot so I know where to put it so I put that there move it somewhat where I want it um, go back to spline to put another section of road down and uh, which is Right here. Oops. It always does that. Dang it. Get that. Okay. Get that and that. And it already connected itself because it was close enough. But what I'm going to do is kind of move this to the, what I would think is the edge right there. Move this to just close and let it drop. Hold on, it's auto saving move it towards close enough let it drop and it's connected so it's connected to this object here and if I go back to the objects and click on move I can now move this anywhere I want it and the idea is to get it fairly straight so kinda use these as these grid lines as a guide and kinda eyeball how close it is there and mimic it over here about yay so to where it's eh, fairly straight and then do the same thing over here where it's you know fairly fairly straight although I don't know where I'm at um, yeah I got a little
little bit more over there than on the other side, so right about there-ish is pretty square. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, because really, if you look at roads where you live, trust me, they're not they're not spot on either. So, and actually, that looks a lot better. So now that I've got that done, what do I do to these parking lot entrances? Well, they're parking lot entrances, but they can be plant entrances for you know all intents and purposes. So I just rotate this 180 degrees from where it was. Go back to the spline editor. Um, go to advanced. Uh, where is that? Insert a spline point. Say right here. Bam. Um, separate the spline. Bam. Move one of them. Um, line this bad boy back up. Line it up right about there. And get it as close as I can in line so it doesn't affect anything else. And then go back to the spline editor. Move the spline. Grab this little piece of road. Bam. Connect it up. Connect it up. And I've got a little entrance into the plant. And then I simply go over here and do the same thing. Um, object. Rotate. Rotate it 90 degrees. Move it back over here. To where it's lined up fairly decent. Wherever I want this arbitrary plant entrance to be. Go to the spline editor. Advanced, insert a spline point, doesn't matter where, split it, bam, pick it up, connect, connect, bam, two entrances. Now what do I do for all this in through here? Um, what I could do, and what I have been doing, is just using texture for that, so I go to the texture editor, um, grab something that I like, um, so I want to look for asphalt so I'll use this little editor here and I want to grab something that looks like asphalt from a distance um, and what I can do is I can fill grid or I can fill area so I'm going to select an area to fill come out here to the edges on both sides which is going to be hard to do because uh, this building's here, but I'm pretty sure right about here would do it. Bam. And, yep. And then, fill. Bam. And then, from there, all I really need to do as far as details um, is add a few things. Uh, one of the things I want to add for sure, which always makes it look kind of good, I think, um, Let's go back over here and look for this. What am I? I'm still on the wrong tool. I'm on the spline editor. Silly. Um, the chain link, which I know I've gotten a couple places. Chain link fencing, which is always really good. If you can see this chain link with uh, barbed wire on top, razor wire to kind of keep people out, it's always really good. So I just click get. Bam. Fence chain link 1942 is their designation. Which is why I kind of either put stuff away or pick an area to put a lot of stuff because you never know what their name for stuff is going to be at all. And put it there, there, to here, here, to here. Oops here and here to here now the reason <laughs> why it's bent like this is because it likes to keep it as uh, I don't know <clears throat> it likes to keep it in one continuous line and to do corners you kinda have to do that s split spline point thing right there pow split the spline point and then move the sections to where you kind of want them to be and it's going to try and connect back up but um, if you just kind of 
eyeball where the spline is going and where your corner is going to be like that and it just takes some getting used to hit the split spline it splits the spline and frees them both up but that I kinda missed the mark on so I kinda would rather it be I don't know further further out so we're gonna try something like that kinda in the concrete a bit split the spline and see how that looks it looks a lot better on both on both accounts come over here um, and then move the spline right along to there and kind of get it lined up right like so and then voila we got a fence along here no one's getting in or out depends on how much overtime they make them work um, line this up right like so bam 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 right there and get this last piece right here Fencing always gives it kind of a rougher part of town keep out look, if you ask me. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, but actually, this looks pretty clean and, and new, actually, so it might not be that bad. Um, and that's, you know, pretty much it. I'm going to add some more stuff to it, like uh, I'll go add some trucks and stuff. Now, there are some things I like to add to this that I don't, for a little bit of detail and I'm not sure if it'll work here or not. Um, I know I've used it here. Uh, I just gotta find it. The guard shacks. They look okay. I don't know. I'll try it. Let me get this one. I guess I think there there's a couple different types. I'm not really happy with the ones they have and I haven't found any better. So let's take a look and see how they work here if they look good at all so first I'm just gonna plop it down orientate it correctly where yeah it's more or less right come on where's 80 degrees wow how is that that's not 80 degrees what the hell that's weird but okay Oh, you know what I might have done? Oh, there's 90 degrees. Why was I thinking 80 degrees? What the hell? Okay, and then I just come down here. And kind of put it down like so. Although it doesn't look like a very secure gate, to be honest to me. I mean, you know, you can just kind of slip through here if you really wanted to. So how do we fix that? Um, easy. Piece of fence. Fence always works. Bam, bam. Move you over here. Move you over here. Split the spline. That's back to where it should be. Except severely overlapping. Yeah, like really overlapping. Why'd you do that? Mm -mm -mm. Split the spline. Okay, much better. Bam, done. Oh, that looks so nice and so clean. I like it. And actually, to be honest, I can even do it better than that. Um, we'll insert a spline point right here. Bam. Delete this section right here. Bam. Uh, and add 
to it right here. I kind of did that in a funky way, but that's okay. Connect it to the guardhouse there. Again, sometimes you just gotta kinda have to eyeball it and split the spline here to make it a sharp corner. And bam, we got a little gatehouse entryway. And to be quite honest, if I wanted to, I'm always making changes after changes. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm not happy with that, is move that there. Try and kind of even it up a little bit and see how close we get here. Alright, like so. And then redo some of this blind point stuff, like so. Or just delete that all together and run it. Run it back up since it doesn't have to turn now <coughs> and we will have to turn this a little bit alright uh, like so so yep and that's what that looks like except it looks a little gay so I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit bam Bam! Got a little gatehouse. That one doesn't look too bad. You know, it looks alright. Um, in the game, these uh, circles or spline points will be gone, so you won't see them. Now, let me grab this object here. Went to object. Still in the gatehouse. There's another gatehouse here. And I'm not sure. It's a lot bigger. I don't know if it really fits well, so let's see what it what it looks like. Actually, that one's not too bad. You know, it's not bad. Um, rotate this around 270. says fair equus steel works mm, no that's not what we are so gatekeeper gate a no I guess that other one works best oh well if it just didn't look the way it does uh, so this one's already facing the right way bring it up to here right up to the fence line even it up a bit and then move the spline I know this probably seems really time consuming and it is <clears throat> if you want to see how the track is done that I can do pretty easily but there we go um, got two entrances and a you know, kind of a big-ish big -ish facility. Um, might add a parking lot for just regular employees, maybe. Um, you know, a little bit of detail. Maybe another building or, or something, uh, kind of like an administrative building, which shouldn't be too hard because some of these do look like administrative buildings. Um, if not, I know I do for a fact have some small administrative buildings, but this one right here is perfect. Uh, so I'm just going to grab it, bam, run it over here. Yep. Windows on two sides, but 
Nobody. No windows on that side, so I want to do something kind of weird. Put the windows facing in, because I assume they would want to see what's going on in the plant rather than outside the plant. And it's not cooperating 100%, but there you go. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, grab some more administrative type looking buildings. Put them over here. That one does have a door on it, or a rolling door, so it's actually not bad to go over here. And right there, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time to add some smaller type buildings to this area, and uh, I'll get back to you when I got that done. Okay, I've gotten uh, some of that done, so I'm over here at the truck area to uh, kind of put a little something together. Uh, Put together some trucks that I think might look good. Um, so what I'm going to do is just pick out a few of these. Well, if I can undo what I've been doing, getting button flustered. So pick out a couple of these ten wheelers here. And jeez, try and find an empty spot. I don't got a bunch of junk everywhere. Um, right there. Pick up this bad boy here. This looks like a good one. And then I'm just going to pick up a few of these. And uh, I'll get back with you as soon as I've picked out quite a few trailers. Okay. <clears throat> I went and got some... Uh, trucks that I like, trucks and trailers that I thought might look interesting, and I'm in the process of putting them in place, which uh, is not always the easiest of things to do, um, especially when you're trying to make sure everything lines up just right. Um, luckily, you can uh, adjust everything as needed, so it's not that big a deal. Not something to exactly stress over. Uh, again, just kind of part of the tedious work. And yeah, I know that one looks a little bit off. This one looks a little bit off too, but I think it's good enough from a distance. You won't notice. Uh, let's pick up this little bad boy here. Get the place. And move. Good job. Actually, I'm going to go down here. And I can do that and keep doing that with different um, vehicles and stuff. And just to kind of give it a busy look. And I'm going to add a couple of things here just to make it look a little bit realistic. If I may, take one of these trailers here, flip her around like so, drag her over here, uh, take this guy here, flip her around, whoa, that rotates on a very strange axis, but that's okay. Um, bring her back over here, as if he's waiting to come in, and move that trailer right over, more or less where the pivot point would be, which is not always easy to do. Right, like so. And yes, cars are going to go through them, but hopefully, the uh, hopefully you won't notice that. And yes, his wheels are a little bit inside the concrete because this road, which has sidewalk, is raised up off the level of the surface here, the bare surface. Whereas most road is level with the surface, this one's raised up a bit, as evidenced by looking at it right here. You can see there's a bit of an edge. 
which is fine unless you're placing cars sometimes and I could probably fix that by adjusting the height of the object but then it would kind of mess it up in where it connects but you might not see that because uh, that might not stick out as much as the wheels do uh, this object does not allow height change but hopefully this one does yes but unfortunately the next height up is way too high and then that's level oops it's lagging behind but yep so you know I'll just have to live with it you probably won't be able to see it up close anyway so no biggie and then I can just place the rest of these later uh, oops didn't mean to do that I meant I'm always grabbing the wrong one stick you over here and actually no I'll stick you guys over here in the ten wheeler loading spot because I've just decided this is where you load the ten wheelers two seventy ish and two seventy ish bam bam load you bad boys up right there right there good job Maynard good job and what am I gonna do with this one well duh I'm gonna put him over here and take another one of him get bam place he just loaded up and he's driving off so over here Oops. not loaded up but he just dumped the trailer and now he's gonna drive off so there we have it um, you know that's a little bit of how it works and I can show you the track here in a little bit I didn't even really that's just one corner that I'm kinda working on and I didn't even really uh, do any track yet which uh, I'll have to show you later because the track is coming in from over here and I have quite a few ideas and without knowing where the roads going yet uh, I'm gonna have to place extend some of this road section here and and whatnot and I hope to uh, extend this industrial area out kinda through to at least here where it's where kinda the current line is now and just use these buildings as spacers and place them where where I just feel um, this and this is definitely going to take up some space so it's either going to go here or might go entirely somewhere else maybe on the other side of this might be a good spot on the other side of this highway because it has more space and I can always run tracks over to it but uh, anyway running tracks is kind of the same way um, you know you just kind of grab the track that you want um, but you have to go to the track section pow and uh kind of get the same track here if you want to lay a piece out double click just like you did the road um, you know it'll turn automatically so you have to watch it because you know you don't want too sharp of a grade or too sharp of a, a curve rather than radius um, but yeah you can stretch out as far as you want and it kind of curves on its own and it can do some really kind of retarded stuff um, if you want to make a switch or a spur just click it in the middle bam it's done click this again bring it out here kind of keep it straight I see how it kind of has a funky bend to it and it bent bent all this section here because it's all connected now um, you can go to advanced but right here straighten track click on that pow straightens it up I can straighten this section pow and uh, makes it straight and puts the curves only where you want them Yep, and it's running kind of slow, probably because the Fraps recording system is keeping it slow. Um, but yeah, as long as you keep the straight, the track straight, then uh, everything else will fall in line, and uh, that kind of makes it look cleaner when you straighten these sections of track here. So kind of like a spur there. But uh, just undo that one, undo, 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 bam. Uh, the junctions that it sets down 
are automatic where uh, wherever the track splits um, it automatically puts those in but they can be deleted and changed and there's different ones you know these are kind of generic modern generic but there's old time looking ones there's remote looking ones that are just little boxes and uh, that's kind of cool but you have you absolutely have to have one of these switches for every junction here every junction has to have a switch or the train cannot function properly it won't go over the section of track at all it'll avoid it totally <clears throat> if you don't have that also what it doesn't tell you because there's very little manuals with this these lights here are called signals you have you have got to have these at certain parts mainly junctions but you have to have <clears throat> you have to have them ever so often um, in, in between every junction is one section of track so between this light here and the next light is one section of track and if there's a train on it or if like right now the switch is closed then it's going to show you a red line a red light but you can go over here to the track side mode and uh, you know switch this and switch that and that and that and some of these should light up correctly um, I thought maybe not bam no oh yes yeah, because everything in between is not lit up oh, up yeah right 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 uh, I guess there's some other signal anyway but the signals do sometimes change as you switch them which uh, maybe the ones back here did I don't know no nope, ones back here didn't let's go over here somewhere easier where I know that one's set correctly uh, like right here where I do have lights I think yep and nope it's not lights aren't changing anyway but trust me the lights do change haha <laughs> um, but anyway that's just a little bit of, of what you know what it does and what it takes oh yeah the trees you're asking me about see right now <clears throat> in the editor mode <coughs> sorry um, right now in editor mode it's got um, you know it's just the basic tree and this is that spooky tree that you were you know telling me you saw and uh, so when I said if I set it for like May it's a lot fuller it's full of you know trees and stuff I can't change the time right now I don't think um, edit session rules quick drive rule sandal rule um, hold on let me check for a time rule um, <clears throat> Time and rate. Yep. Uh, right there. Time and rate. Maybe I can set that right there. And edit. Um, edit it. Oh, no. That's not the uh, environment. <laughs> uh, so we're going to delete that one. Yeah. Let's add another rule for environment. Uh, come down here to E. Nope. Uh, it's time of year. Time check. No. Nope. Anyway. Anyway. Um. I think I just added that. No, I don't want to do that. No. Nope. Want to delete it. Anyway, the trees. I've looked up all types of, of trees: spruce, birch, uh, white birch. Uh, Redwood, sequoia, maple, oak, um, all kinds, and they're all right here. I laid them out. Here's quite a few here that I've moved uh, to use. Uh, there's, uh, even these are, I think, flood oaks or flood spruce. When, in areas where they flood, they, uh, oops, objects they actually grow to quite a height to adjust for the flood uh, it's a gum tree but a flooded gum tree usually happens in marshes and swamps to where you know if it floods quite a bit then they'll grow real high and uh, have their leaves up real high but yeah even the redwood here 
is a you know I'm not sure exactly how awesome it looks but uh, I'm gonna have a lot of these pine trees covering some of that open space in between the cities uh, could be like piney forest lots of pine trees lots of different stuff there's so many objects I mean there's probably over 200,000 objects in the game and just insane amount of of things to, to choose from and use and uh, oh yeah <laughs> check it out McDonald's uh, Wendy's you can complete with the order signs if I can show it to you and if it'll show up on YouTube very well but it even has you know the little order signs <laughs> there's Arby's oop 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 yep uh, oh, 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 oh. come back a little bit more uh, right there chicken bacon Swiss number five please it's my favorite um, and your favorite which oh yeah there's a that there's a taco well Kentucky Fried Chicken sorry couldn't think of it but somewhere around here where did I put it oh yeah right here Taco Bell bam I have to put that somewhere complete with the order menu <laughs> that's just that's just too funny really uh, yeah like I said just all kinds of stuff to put in and, and make it as real as you want some really cool houses I'm mean, gonna have an area with uh, houses under construction so I found some houses that were literally under construction and I found a bunch of uh, different types of just stack wood lumber that I'll put around the, the area that is being that the houses are being built and put some construction equipment and stuff and use the dirt texture for dirt. Uh, this is a lumber mill. This is part of a actual lumber mill. Um, I can show you if I hit move object. See this whole thing moves. Uh, no tracks go through it, but uh, it'd be kind of interesting for maybe a, a lumber mill in the uh, commercial district. Um, there's all kinds of. Oh, Oh yeah, that's a nice hotel. I was going to put that down by the ocean. Uh, there's lots of different uh, convenience stores, which I've already put a couple convenience stores in. Um, I'll show you because you could kind of see it on the uh, oh on the tour I made, but not super well because of the way I had the view set. But I got a little shell station down here. Kind of cute. <laughs> its own way and then over here which I'm sure you saw but you may not have I have uh, I forget what it is what brand it is 7-eleven I think yeah I'm pretty sure it's a 7-eleven yeah, no Sunoco Sunoco whichever little Sunoco station right here in the corner kinda right on the highway there Kinda cute. Gas is 309, so <laughs> at least it's uh, current. Ugh. But yep, yeah, even the little community store itself is kinda cute. Although you don't see really payphones much anymore, but go behind the store and you got the dumpster. And, uh, you know, a fence that would be robbers would probably just hop and run off and get in their car and take off. Here's some of the grass I was telling you about that I did actually put down, but you know, grass is not super tall all the time, so it's kind of hard to notice, but you definitely notice if it's not there. So I did put grass through here, and some through here. I might put some, some dead trees or something through here, but this is just supposed to be grassy field, kind of on the edge of town, and you know, kind of the older district, and uh, but still with some uh, apartments and whatnot through here again not a lot of detail here because you're not really paying a whole lot of attention to it um, there is some detail down through here I put some street lights down thinking that they would change while while that was being played while he was actually in the driver mode but uh, unfortunately no 
none of that. I have not seen them change, and I don't know if there's, you know, a way to get them to, to change if I have to look up some other object or something. I'm not sure. Who knows? Oops, sorry, guys. My cute little, uh, check this out. I kind of set it up. It's kind of goofy because it doesn't line up right, and you can see the... <laughs> This this wood here is kind of through the truck, but from a distance it looks like it's really taking it from the back of the truck and dumping it on the uh, building here, which I need to take some of that wood from over there and put it over here like they've already moved it and maybe put some on forklifts. That would be kind of cool. But, yep, pick up that wood. Yep. From a distance it looks pretty cool. I even got some road road construction road closed signs. You know, lovely. Oh, oop, he just disappeared. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, there's a lot more to it. Like I said, I didn't even show you the height changes and, and whatnot. As you can, you saw earlier, there was a lot of height changes over here. And uh, I'll show you how to deal with that with tracks. It's a lot more complex than you would think. But, it, 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 you know, at the same rate, it's also easy too. So, you know, it's easier than it could be, but harder than you would think. So, you got to know all about how railroads work and gradients and what's too steep and what's not steep enough um, for, you know, where you're trying to go. You got to kind of balance everything. So, anyway, that's that.